another round of layoffs may not do enough to fix Bank of America. Michael Yoshikami is founder of YCM Net Advisors. We don't own Bank of America shares because we're just not clear about what the bottom looks like in terms of their financial issues. Bank of America is trying to become a leaner, more profitable bank. That means potentially unwinding some of the mergers at the root of its problems. They got big eyes, bigger than what their stomachs can handle. That's how a great consumer bank ends up becoming basically a trash pile of financial assets. Is that even in a bank fucking car seat CEO back there? Jesus. plans to outline his makeover plan on Monday. In New York, I'm Heidi Moore for Marketplace. Fucking parking spot. Works at a company called Sahindra. Hey, so for the people who until three days ago had never heard of Park in a fucking parking spot. Well, in March of 2009, Solyndra was the first company to receive a loan from the Department of Sucks Balls. Bitch. The really? Department of Energy actually bragged at the time that it had rushed this loan application through. Um, and later, it was revealed by the Government Accountability Office and of course that you're they going failed to do some of their due diligence before announcing the deal. This became a uh, much bigger... Oh, I fucking hate that shopping center. ...running into financial problems. And uh, reporters at the Center for Public Integrity revealed that one of the company's big financial backers was also a fundraiser for President Obama, a guy named George Kaiser. Which is, at the very least, an appearance of impropriety and, and investigations will figure that out. But businesses go bad in this country every single day. Right? No, that's right. And failure doesn't necessarily prove there was fraud or corruption. You know, Solyndra has a pretty innovative uh, solar technology. They're trying to crack the solar problem in a way no one else has. And that's a risky bet. And so far, at least, there isn't any public evidence that the White House, the Department of Energy, or even Solyndra executives did anything illegal. But, you know, the Department of Energy's Inspector General has to be intensely curious if the company misled it, the government, about its financial situation, um, especially while it was trying to renegotiate some loans recently. And Republicans in Congress are, are looking for evidence that the White House somehow, you know, played favorites here. Yeah, so here's another question, though. I mean, the government plays favorites in, in tax policy and incentives and all of it, does it all the time. But when you get to these new technologies, is it smart, necessarily, for the Department of Energy or any other branch of the government to be, to be involved in that kind of investment? If you think back to March of 2009, when the Department of Energy announced this deal, you know, there wasn't a lot of other capital out there. The financial markets were broken. And so there was a conscious decision made by Congress and the Department of Energy and the administration that this was a time where it was appropriate to try and imitate, you know, venture capitalists and make big investments in growing the economy. Solyndra was a risky investment. You know, it's not necessarily a corrupt oh, one. It may not now? have been a stupid one. The market shifted under the company's feet. They got clobbered by cheap imports from China and firms in the U.S. that figured out how to make solar panels a lot more cheaply. Um, you know, so should Solyndra executives have seen that coming? Maybe. Should the DOE have seen it coming? Dumbass. You know, there are analysts out there who say yes. It's not there for you to turn in while we're going remember, straight, asshole. Investors poured money into this company, too, and just like the government, they lost it. Where can you stay at? On the fate of Solyndra, the recently bankrupt solar company. Shit, so fucking dangerous. Company. 